So guys, of course, I'm only deciding to do my intro for the Moving to Gothenburg with me vlog, my first ever YouTube video, doing that like 10 minutes before I go out. So I'm fairly in a rush, but I wanted to come on. Oh my God, my hand is so shaky, but I need to put my thing in the tripod. So I wanted to do a proper uh, introduction for the video because obviously, like I've spoken about it on my Instagram story, but still I get messages of people asking what I'm doing in Sweden, why I'm here, how long I'm here for, la la la. So I did document my first like, two months here we haven't even been here a full two months but I've documented like the majority of it so far and I didn't have an introduction for the video it literally just like starts with us landing in Gothenburg like staying in a hotel on the first night so I wanted to kind of talk more um about what it is I'm actually doing here I'll give you a bit more context for the video so first of all oh my god I'm shaking Whew. I am here on Erasmus so I'm in third year in UL I'm doing journalism obviously but I'm on Erasmus here yeah. So we have arrived in Gothenburg. It has been a struggle. It's been a long day. We spent the last four hours or uh, more on a train. Four hours. Yeah. And three hours on a plane. Yeah. There's someone roaring their head off outside the window. You actually can't even tell what's outside. We turn off the light for a minute. Oh, there's some fairy lights down here. You can see a bit better now. There's a little playground downstairs. This was only 55 euro. Aww. We are after walking for how long do you think? I don't know. This is our new home. It looks like a jail. We love to see it. Um, <laughs> we haven't even seen the inside so may record our first reaction. So this is the first time I'm walking into my house. I wanted to like record uh, my reaction of what it's like. Seems grand so far. Um, this is the two beds. So basically the options were to get one bed and pay 300 or two beds and have the option of bringing someone and obviously I've brought my boyfriend. So um, I picked the two beds for, well, it's 6,000 sec, which is like 500 and something euro, but um, it's fairly small. This is the bathroom, but it's grand like. Two 20 kgs, a 20 kg each, and then a 10 kg and a carry on. So we ended up, this ended up being 24 kg in the airport, and this one was 21. So we ended up having to pay, it was 33 and 11. So it was like 44 euro for the bags being literally 5 kg overweight, which is annoying. <laughs> We're in a furniture shop watching the welcome seminar online on a couch. <laughs> so we finally went and got things for the house because last night we slept under this jacket from Penny's and a plain pillow. This, which I insisted on, it was 35 euro. It was a bit extortionate for a blanket and there were ones for a tenner, but I feel like this will be good for visitors. But yeah, then we just got two pillows. Things are so much more expensive than Ireland. I kept saying like, I wish we had a Penny's because like, there's Ikea here and Jisk, which I think are both Swedish originally, but yeah, I think they're still really expensive, but like homeware is expensive anyway. And then a duvet, which was 50 euro. Like who knew these things cost this much? It's annoying that you can't travel with them, but obviously they're so bulky and we won't be able to bring them home either, but I'm definitely bringing that blanket home because it's my new baby. I brought my satin pillowcase for my hair from home. Then towels, adapters. Finally, I haven't even been able to wash my hair. It's such an echo in this place and it's such a small house to have an echo in it. But anyway, we were a tenner each. Um, we'd, we hadn't even been able to charge our phones or anything properly. Um, got a pot as well. We're going to have pasta for dinner because we've been eating out and eating really badly every day too. So we got two big towels and two tea towels. We got this mango and papaya body wash. Two plates, if you had any plates or anything. The annoying thing about this accommodation is that it doesn't actually come with anything at all in it. So we just get cutlery and plates and all that kind of stuff. Then we got this sheet. See, 350 crowns is 35 euro, but it's really oh, confusing. 36 to 37 euro. And that's really confusing because you're like, oh my God, 350 euro for a sheet. <laughs> it's not great. But anyway, we're getting used to it. This is just shaving foam, toothpaste, because my current one, my current Crest one is running out. Then just these gingerbread candles for around the house. I feel like they'll be nice just to make the place a bit more homely because it's off a bear at the moment, but I did bring my tapestries and stuff. 
Um, I feel like that'll just be nice as well for guests. We'll be able to like put them on the floor in a blow up mattress or something. And then just that other tea towel and this Capri Sun. We're getting great novelty out of all the different Capri Sun flavors that they don't have at home. We had like orange and peach. This is what oh, the money looks really like. like. That's like a 50 euro note. Does not look extortionate. Like if you're hand that over, it costed this 500 crown note. It's terrifying. Takes time. This is the start. We'll take a video of the house when we have everything kind of put in place. Do a before and after. That's the only storage we have for our clothes as well, which is really weird. But there's so much storage in the kitchen for. Oh, this is a. Are they wardrobes? Yeah, the next one. Does it have hanging space? Yeah, this one. Oh, we were going to get hangers in. I didn't think we had any wardrobe space. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. We also got these extra two rooms, which they don't have at home. We got watermelon flavor and then sweet fruit and then just two mugs. We're probably gonna have to leave all this behind, which makes me kind of sad. <laughs> so day four in college. Well, actually no, day three, because I have no college on Wednesdays. First day I won't be late and we got like two wrong plans, didn't we? Yeah, two wrong ones. It's nice and sunny today but it's still freezing. It's a great minutes away from college and I'm in till five o'clock. Today we need to get more house stuff. A scissors, shopping. Hmm, I don't know. Let me just make a list. I'll like. It's mad, there's sweet shops everywhere. Like look at the size of the sweet shop and every single shop you go into has like a confectionery place. So we are back in the apartment. We went for a bit of shopping, food shopping and also just shopping in general. Today we got this little bear in H&M home. I really wanted to tell you, I thought he was so cute. So we got him and I went to Junkyard, which I don't know where I think this is in the world, but it's not in Ireland anyway, I'd never heard of it, but it has the most unreal clothes, I'll show you now. So this t-shirt was on sale for 188 crowns, which is like 18 euro down from 26. I feel like this would be really cute. I love a good nude moment. And the second thing I got was this blue night hoodie. I already had the pants for this blue one. They're a tiny bit big on me and a size small because these are so oversized. So I got this in an extra small because I tried them all on and the arms were nearly the same length, which is what I need length in. So I'm gonna try these on together and see if they match. Hopefully they're the right ones. Very nice, I like. This is what the new tracksuit looks like. I'd probably tie this thing together. The top is new. I've actually had the bottom since like just before Christmas. I'm gonna show you a little haul of what I got in that big massive sweet shop. They are salt and vinegar lays, fairly standard. This I actually got in the toilet place in the shopping center. They had these in the fridge when you pay to go to the toilet. Where are the Pringles? Oh yeah. We got pizza flavor Pringles, some random sweets in a bag. Then these two, we got these last night as well. These ones are caramel frappuccinos, but last night we got mochas and drank them this morning and they were so nice. Then just small teasers, Dr. Pepper, vanilla Coke, which I've been dying to try since getting here. After pulling the oven door off <laughs> from the boring. bottom, literally pulling the oven door off. Oh my God. Oh my god. Show them what you've done. Pull that out. I haven't done anything. Really? It's just like that, look. I haven't done a hand in <laughs> Pull the oven door off. I'm gonna make a pizza. Did you did you bring the oven in? Yeah. So I've had my makeup on since this morning. Don't mind the crust, but I'm gonna do a taste test. Hopefully you can hear me. I needed to taste test this vanilla coke, so. It's subtle. You wouldn't know that it's that much vanilla, but it doesn't fully taste like coke either. Six out of 10. I think it might grow on me. Taste test, I took the first drink. It's a caramel mm. frappuccino. You like it? Yeah, it's like the one at McDonald's. We came to a zoo. It's like an outdoor zoo where you can see seals and penguins and stuff. We've been meaning to go all day. The penguins were fed at half two. Oh, I wonder is it more up this way? Mm, 
Ja, der traut sich vielleicht nicht. I think we've got to take away every single day since being here. But it's only week one. I'm cooked as well. Yeah, we did cook, didn't we? That's Johnny's burger. My, I got a veggie one and it looks like the plant stuff looks like raw meat, it's really scary me. It's like red raw. That raspberry cake does not look like the menu. I dug into the raspberry cake. Never mind, it is stunning. We are going to taste test the pizza flavored Pringles. I've been making one all day and we have no proper ring light. <laughs> or dark. Tastes like um, ketchup. Salads a good person. Yeah. <laughs> I came outside to rub this cat that I saw outside our window because it's only the second cat I've seen since I've been here and I missed my cat so much but he ran up a tree but he actually let me rub him so I think he's chasing a bird up the tree but I just hope he doesn't get stuck The ring light finally came which means hopefully more videos and I got a tripod in this electricity shopper we also got a cable for the internet we haven't been able to use the internet for a week and both our daughters running out he got a 90 euro bill which we thought was a scam how stunning yeah i remember it now because i remember the wedding dresses i'm trying to make a conscious effort to be more healthy so i'm having a fruit plate seeing as we haven't gotten bowls yet it's a stunning day washed my makeup brushes last night and i have to spend the day doing a placement report of a few thousand words i'm not even sure how many hopefully this tastes okay i feel like some of the fruit may be a bit hmm question i just added some of this muesli which i'm using as granola i don't know this doesn't look like muesli johnny is sporting this number from pennies 45 euro. Day 10 and we have a 170 euro phone bill because the internet hasn't been working. We have a technician coming out tomorrow. We finally got fairy lights so we still haven't put up the tapestries or anything to make the place any bit more homely. There's still a mad echo but hopefully now in the next few days we will start to make this place a bit more put together. We're finally baby. putting some tapestries up on the walls after about 10 days. It's the moment I'm wearing my glasses. Not many people know that I wear glasses. I'm very emotional today. I'm not doing well. Put on this cute outfit though that I've been wanting to wear forever. I was saying to Johnny, we were getting random people to sign this. I meant to get everyone who came into my room to sign it in Galway, but I never thought of it. So I signed it up at the very top and I was saying from there, it looks like he literally labeled himself as the boy in the picture. <laughs> so funny. Oh, it looks actually well behind the bed. We were going to put that tapestry over Okay, here. so the internet fella just came and he moved the table that my makeup was on and my new powder fell and smashed. I put it back in, but it's not actually one piece anymore. I love that. We're about to turn on the fairy lights for the first time. These are all made of masks and this took a lot more time and effort than what you'd think and secured them with like little pins. We didn't want to put the the thumbtacks through the plug or through the pipe that the lights are in just in case it like broke it around then. So yeah, we're about to plug it in for the first time and I feel like it is going to just make the room. I feel like fairy lights are such a nice touch. Yay. How cute. So we are going to system blag it. The off license on the tram right now. And we're gonna go for a few drinks tonight. Spoil for choice. There's so many, so many drinks in here. It's like a proper shop fully for drink. It's called System Blagget. Copperberg is way cheaper because it's actually Swedish. This is what we went with. Me and Johnny are bickering in the off license. I'd say people think we're actual alcoholics because I made them take pictures for me because the backgrounds were really cute. Wow. Oh, I thought they were very cute out started. I don't know if we take a little video there. Mommy's obviously in the shop, but this bold boy is humping his brother. Found a drink <laughs> that I'm obsessed with. We're having a few before we go to the pub, but it's called Briska, Briska. I don't know, it's like a cider, but really nice. So much nicer than Orchard Thieves or any other cider that I'd usually drink at home. Pleasant this I'm honestly so excited to start sitting down editing this video, like my YouTube video. I feel like I haven't, I just spot ever, I don't know if you can see that. I feel like I haven't done any like 
long talking videos since I've started so I might have to film like a separate introduction but yeah I feel like it's gonna come together quite nicely hopefully. Kebab shop at the end of the night for his uh, well being right now. I'm gonna cut, get a get, I'm drunk. Get a falafel burger. Falafel. I don't know what to get. <laughs> just get kebab, man. Just, just get kebab, man. Just get kebab, man. Fun fact I've been a vegetarian. This is our new pal. <laughs> I've been a vegetarian since coming here. The meat scares me. Show me what you got. Mmm. Nutritious. Mm. The tapestry fell there. Day one. This is the look he has on his face. <laughs> so we just thought that we were locked in the bedroom. It's like something out of a scary movie. But thank God there's another door out, which that was just not open. Another day, another homemade pizza. My side is just mozzarella, other cheese and tomatoes, and Johnny's is pepperoni, seeing as I am a aspiring vegetarian since coming here and he is a carnivore. So we are finally going ice skating. Golden hour. What's up? That means the sun is setting, doesn't it? So I'm currently in college. I'm stressed now because my eyelashes are slowly but surely out of my head and apparently it's 150 euro to get eyelashes done here. I messaged a page on Instagram and they were like, yeah, 150. How cute. Right. So good that the people in Sweden are tall because all the track seats actually reach my ankles, which is unusual for me. <laughs> it's probably heavily snowing. First time it's been snowing here. Woo! I insist on wearing this orange short and tracky that Johnny that I got Johnny for Christmas because it's snowing today. It is a like little orange beetle outside. It's parked every day, so I want to go and take a picture with it. We've been eating out a lot, like a cranberry juice. Ah, so I got a Subway with cheese, tomato, uh, cucumber, sweet corn, pepper, and mayonnaise. Help. Feel better though, actually. Not eating meat, I overthink it too much. I love animals. Too much. How cute are these little guys? We're in Tiger. And this is just my dream as a hoarder to be in places like this where everything is like probably useless. Okay, play me a tune. <laughs> so I'm after buying this to live and proof dry shampoo because Shirley Murphy said she loves it. I've been using the Moroccan oil one before now. It wasn't something I ever used to really invest in. Wow, I wish I could just come in here for a shower every day. Magical. This is so funny, he keeps going in circles. Oh. Did I just capture a fall? Oh, someone just got ran over. I can half, I can half ice skate, but it's not very well. Wait, I'm gonna end up breaking my phone now or something. Yeah. Oh my God, I nearly got a fall there on camera. Yeah. <laughs> the cookie dough um, King Fusion from Burger King and I'm so excited about it on a plant-based Whopper. And you got a double, what did you get? Oh, bacon. Double cheese? cheese? Or something cheese, something like double that. cheese bacon. We're on a moisturizer. We agreed we'd go halves on a moisturizer but I had actually bought a new one online so he did the deed this time. So guys, I take back what I said, bought like six or seven pairs of underwear a day yesterday and they were 49 euro. I was saying my private story, this place is seriously locked and it needs a pennies. Very bad. One thing that I forgot to bring a lot of coming over here. Give me straight, my lord. <laughs> Charlie reckons I'm the most clumsy person ever. Oh, forget I just have to drop in a bag. So I came to this shop. We have to collect our post in the shop. 
because it's cheap in combination where living in doesn't have a reception to post in. So I had to collect my package. And now I'm gonna do a little look fantastic haul for you all. I don't actually remember what I ordered. I just see a few different things on the way. Oh, it's the dry shampoo I ordered. And then the Origins Gift of Glow set. I've actually used the toner and the moisturizer, but I'd run out of toner and moisturizer. And then it has a scrub cleanser and a serum as well, which is so exciting. I'll show you what that looks like now. Oh, it comes with a little bag. How cute. So that's the scrub. The moisturizer serum and toner which i just ran out of this exact same one that i bought over so i can't believe this i accidentally ordered volume blast instead of dry shampoo wow that is so depressing i don't like them volume sprays like the salt sprays or anything like that they just make your hair sticky styling and finishing spray Okay, hopefully I love this and it's not a complete waste of money because it was like 20 something euro. But now I'm not gonna have much dry shampoo left, so I'm looks like I'm gonna have to start washing my hair more frequently or I'll spend another 30 euro on dry shampoo. Wow, how disappointing. <laughs> so we are going to IKEA for the first time. It is a bit of a trek. How long have we been traveling to get here? Yeah, it took like an hour, but here we are, I'm finally getting a full-length mirror. New house check. Oh my god, a house done in, imagine. Love it. Wow. That looks like you. What the hell, I did not know they had teddies in Ikea and I'm obsessed. That is so cute. So, this teddy is coming with us for now. We're going to decide on him soon. But I think now that we've picked him up, I don't think there's any putting him down. Mm -hmm. Right at home. I'm gonna put them in the little bag. I'm gonna give them a little bit. Oh, she's gone. Look. The words here are so long, like what? And try and say that word. I'm in red and spot the cat. So, I won, as always, and we got our new baby. He's a friend for the other guy, but he did get wet on the way home. It was raining, very similar weather to Ireland, but he's so cute. What are we gonna call him? I don't know. He's not happy. He kept saying, can we put him back? Can we put him back? And I was like, no, absolutely not. It was actually really good value. I heard Ikea is quite expensive, but it was good value. So we got two pillows. They were literally 2 50 each. The hangers were 1 90 each. And I paid like 4 euro in the other place for a few hangers. A bowl, which was like 2 euro, I think. This tea towel, which has a glass wrapped in it. These glasses were only, what were the glasses? 50 cents or something, were they, Johnny? We got loads of stuff on offer. And then we got this, which holds toothbrushes and soap. Oh, that was literally 2 euro. Um, this mirror, because we literally have not got a mirror in the house at all. So just keep us going and leave on the window maybe for your makeup or whatever. That was like two euro as well. We got the meatballs. Johnny got the normal ones and I got the plant-based ones. I actually tried them in there as well. They were quite nice. I think it would be nicer when I actually make them with like spaghetti though. I don't know if I'm a big fan of meatballs on their own without like red sauce like dolly or something. But yeah, then this tea towel, literally two euro again. Candles. What are they? This one is raspberry. I got a big vanilla one. Well, bigger than the other ones. Just a can for the bathroom. He's facing the, the corner, so he doesn't seem to be... <laughs> he doesn't seem to be keen on his new brother. <laughs> Not impressed. Mm -mm. So it is now the 4th of February. We have been here how long? Okay, and this is nearly two weeks now, isn't it? Yeah, we're nearly three weeks here. We are going to print TVs for Johnny today. It's miserable though, it's been raining. It's snowing two days ago and it's kind of been raining since. So we're going to go print some TVs in the college today. We just got some hot dogs and muffins and some nice stuff for breakfast. So I asked Johnny, <laughs> had you ever seen Ozark? And mm. he said, I thought that was the thing with the boat and the animals. I was like, no, that's no Ozark. <laughs> Not Ozark. On the way to college. Taste test. Nice. 
So guys, excuse the lisp, I have teeth whitener. But I got a new mirror from Ikea. It actually cost 40 euro to get delivered, which was severely depressing, but hopefully I'll be able to sell it or something before I leave here. I thought it was actually gonna be slightly bigger, but we did go to Ikea the last day and have a look. The shipping was 40 euro and Ikea is literally 10 minutes from my house, very bad, but I'm so excited. I've always wanted like one of these big Ikea mirrors. I'm gonna have to see, am I able to sell it or something? before leaving because I'll be so depressed if I just have to leave it behind I want to bring it home with me the best thing about living in a city is that you can literally just, just jump on the tram and go to Zara they actually have such nice beds Zara is dangerous I came, well Johnny wanted to find a top for tonight but I'm definitely going to be end up buying something I want that I want that Today, mashing now. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want this little purple top as well. We we're meant to go to the club tonight. He's after bringing Burger King chips in town. So, but we we're meant to go into the club tonight. But I think it could be full when we get there. Sad. So, we are currently in such a rush to get out. As promised, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, but I need to put it on hands free. So, I was originally going to wear the black Prada bralette. These are the pants. I got these in a weekday, which is a shop over here. And then I'm wearing this. Corset that I bought in Zara today, and this blazer, also from Zara. Is this a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen? Maybe so, but if you like the Prada Bralette, it was actually really cute with the two. Oh, let's get pissed in the mob! Oh, I love British! I love British! People <laughs> being George Shaw. Yeah, but that's, the that's next what I said season. when you come here. When, when, when you like here. He when will you like to be here. in George Shaw. I, I said, So it is currently the 19th of February, I'm finally collecting a package and hopefully they let me. Such trouble with the postal system here. Johnny's after flying home today, so I'm flying home Tuesday, he's turning 21. I was meant to have an exam this morning, which I didn't register for on time and therefore I didn't get to sit, which is really random. They're quite strict about that kind of stuff here in Sweden, but yeah, I'll get to fly home Tuesday anyway regardless. I'm just sad I missed rag week. Oh, I nearly got run over. I'm sad I missed Rag Week when I could have actually gone home, but I spent the week studying for an exam I didn't even have. Me and Keen are about to order Domino's and I come into the bed after he hasn't come out for 10 minutes and I find him like this. Keen are about to miss our train, but I was just saying to him, like Dublin in the sun. Like, I appreciate it so much more now that I haven't even been gone away for that long at all. So guys, I'm gonna add this to my vlog when I get home. So I've come home for a week. Flight was 12 euro. This cat is digging her claw into me. But I have a bit of post that I'm gonna show you. One of them I accidentally delivered to College Court and my old address back on Black Friday. And the other one I got an no poly sale. I got a few free prints. I'm going to show you maybe the clothes on potentially. I've got a laptop case as well, thank God. But yeah, I've come home for a week. I went to the George in Dublin with Keen yesterday. I am going to go away to get my eyebrows and eyelashes done tomorrow. I'm going to spend some time with friends. And then Saturday morning, I get my hair done in Galway. Sunday and Monday, I'm going to Limerick for a rag week with Maeve. And then Tuesday, I'm flying back to Sweden. So I'm so excited. It is so nice i'd say i was like the biggest sickener ever i was literally sitting on the train talking to keen and his cousin megan and i was like i just love ireland so much heidi bit someone yesterday so she has to wear the muzzle when she goes outside for a run no what do you think heidi it's not very nice is it guys i'm such a bag i have no shame I literally, thank you so much. I literally went into the body shop and I asked them, can I borrow a mask so I can go in and buy some new, like, body gel.
So we are back in the airport, my voice is gone. This is the second time, I'm gonna add this to the YouTube video. H&M home is dangerous because we find new babies every time. <laughs> so I got this satin spray. Charlene Murphy recommended that on her TikTok, I think it was. Got a cough bottle and uh, then duo glue. Got these pants in H&M. You can't really see what they're like and they're backwards right now. Wait. Now I got them in a size small. What's a day for me and my baby? So guys, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe that I'm finally doing this. It is something that I've literally wanted to do for my entire life. I know the video is quite long. That's why I didn't add some of the other footage that I'd taken, but I will add that to the next vlog that I upload. I'm planning on going back to Ireland next week and then going to Barcelona from there uh, for maybe a week as well. So I'll hopefully bring you along with me for that and post a video. I'm definitely thinking of investing in a camera. Hopefully this quality was okay because I'm, I recorded the whole thing on my phone. The fortune teller told me as well that she sees photography as a hobby for me, so maybe I'll invest in a camera in the near future. But anyway, that's besides the point. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.